Greetings, members one and all of the Salvation Nation. China's sucking in a lot more ounces of gold. Here in March, they've brought in 360,000 ounces. Indeed, this comes to us from Kitco and uh, was sent to me by um, Silver Honda, who drives a blue Honda. The race to accumulate gold continues as the Central Bank of the World's second largest economy added more ounces to its official reserves for the fourth consecutive month. According to the latest statistics from the People's Bank of China, the central bank added 360,000 ounces of gold to its foreign reserves last month. Gold reserves totaled 60.62 million ounces as of the end of March. Here we can see the United States is still number one. Germany is a, a distant second <clears throat> with other entities like the International Monetary Fund is third there. France is fourth, Switzerland is, uh, is fifth there <coughs> in Italy, and uh, moving ahead down. So it's, it's quite interesting to see. So they're, they're not in this chart, but commodity analysts at ING said that since November, China has added 1.3 million ounces to its reserves. The increased buying comes at a time uh, when trade tensions between the U.S. And, and China continue to drag on, the analyst said. Analysts have noted that central bank gold demand has provided an important support for the yellow metal as it continues facing growing competition from rising equity markets and resilient strength of the U.S. dollar. Some analysts have also said that they don't expect central banks to stop buying gold anytime soon as countries reduce their dependence on the dollar. One suspects China is like Russia and probably some other nations too in diversifying its reserves away from dependence on the U.S. dollar as a reserve currency, Laura Williams, creator of LaurianGold.com, said in a recent note, the U.S. has been demonstrating its readiness to use the dollar and its links to global trade as a weapon to try and bring enemies and allies into line with this global foreign policy. Analysts at the Bank of America Merrill Lynch also see global U.S. dollar deleveraging as a growth trend that will benefit gold prices. We believe that the de-dollarization could also lead to rising share of gold holdings in gold portfolios, the analyst said in a report established last month. Gold central bank gold demand continued to attract more market attention following unprecedented demand last year. According to data from the World Gold Council, in 2018, central banks bought a total of 651.5 tons of the yellow metal, the most significant increase in roughly a half century. That's really fascinating that it's a, uh, that much increase. And it just goes to show you really that, um, you know, uh, gold transcends politics and it is very much full of it as well, um, or how it's used, but it is immune to really a lot of what's going on with those situations um, uh, regarding what is happening in other nations, whether they're dependent on one currency or another. Um, we know that it's valued in many different aspects of cultures and obviously central banks in many different nations, al allies and enemies alike. Um, heck, even ISIS was accumulating a gold and they, of course they stole it all, but uh, they were gonna mint coins out of it and uh, actually used uh, much of the um, information that was provided by several um, uh, analysts in the precious metal markets to bolster their case for gold and, uh, in some cases, silver um, as as money. So it's it's really fascinating. And seeing this, uh, in my view, this is just another example of why we should be accumulating uh, silver and really even especially for those silver stackers out there, um, I would certainly encourage you to, to to diversify some. Even if you believe the ratio could tighten down the road, it may not be a bad idea, idea to accumulate a little bit of gold as well as holding silver for sure. Uh, now more than ever, I believe there's more deals at your fingertips for accumulating even fractional gold for very close to spot, um, uh, for sure. So I think it's something that um, we can all take advantage of and benefit from.
uh, in accumulating a bit of gold in your stacks for sure. Uh, but speaking of gold, there's another way to measure gold. And again, this comes to us from Silver Honda. And if each country were to replace gold with Bitcoin, how much would each country need? This is an article here from uh, chippycap.com. And Blocktown Capital, it's an investment fund focusing exclusively on blockchain ventures. Digital currencies and protocol tokens wondered about the amount of bitcoins each country needs to accumulate to transition to digital gold. It's been a wild ride for Bitcoin ever since its inception more than 10 years ago. In the beginning of 2011, it was impossible to think that Bitcoin would ever reach the value of even one single dollar. However, throughout the years, Bitcoin has shown impressive resilience, having survived multiple painful bear markets or reaching new all-time highs. Whether it was $100,000 or $10,000, and eventually $19,783, each and, each and one of those prices were considered to be an impossible milestone at some point in the past. And Bitcoin smashed them all anyway. Um, today, the investment found blockchain capital was wondering about... Hold on a second, let's find out what the scammer says. Hello? Yeah, Mr. Jeffords? Yes, this is uh, this is his business partner, uh, Sal, but you can call me Salavate for short. We're trying to figure out here uh, how many Bitcoins it would take to replace the gold of the central banks. What do you think? What, uh, I was calling Mr. Je Jim Jeffords. Yes, I'm his uh, business partner. I'm the decision maker. I'm the decider. Okay. He was calling. We had talked about some income for the, for the business. Right, but right, right. We need the income for the business because we have to figure out a way to transfer all the gold out of the central banks and turn them into uh, cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin. You think that could happen? Okay. How much are you How much are you depositing into your business? Well, I haven't gotten that far yet. They say the investment fund Blockchain Capital is wondering about the amount of each country the bitcoins would need. It's growing up very fast, and there's a chart that actually shows it, but it's on a Twitter page. A USA. They would need 913,388 bitcoins. That's just for the United States. Can we get that kind of money? That well, we just we just work with with capital cash. Yeah, NBA. well, the capital of the okay. United States is Washington I mean, D.C. We don't put any liens. Oh yeah, we don't want to lien on anything. On your car, yeah, this is business or anything. right. This is but this I'm, is completely uh, valid because this is we're talking about the United States of America. This is their central bank. We're replacing all the gold with bitcoin. Digital gold. So, so 913,388 bitcoins for the United States, 378,416 for Germany, Russia would be 232,033, China, which has added a bunch of gold this month, 360,000 ounces just this month. What's your name again, by the way? Is it Robert? My name's Robert. Robert, yeah. So, anyway, so China uh, added 206,923 bitcoins to replace all their gold. The UK would have the cheapest with 34846 So if we just did the United States, whose capital, by the way, you talked about capital earlier. The capital of the United States is Washington, D.C., inside the Beltway there. That's right, which is very close. When I'm talking about capital, I'm talking about money. Oh, I know. I'm believing that's where all the money is, is in D.C. A good grief. It's an insane amount of money there. At least I like to spend it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what do you think about that? What do you think? Of, I mean, that's it's a lot of bitcoins to replace gold. Well, which which would you rather have, think, Robert? Which would you rather have? Would you rather have uh, Bitcoin well, or at gold? At this point, I'd rather have Bitcoin, but that's not how my business works. You'd you know, rather have Bitcoin put, than we gold? Put, we put cash into your bank account if you need cash. Okay. We have to see the last three months of your business statement. Sure. And we have to have an application. Right. Well. I understand Because our that. loans are based on what you take in on your business since they're unsecured money. Sure. It's private money with, you know, uh, a hedge fund that my, my owner of my company is partners with. He loans his own money. Right. We could get you probably after, after 30, 40 days in a, an MCA, I can get you a, a, a line of credit. We can move the MCAs into the line of credit. I mean, if you have a relationship with your bank and you can get a line of credit. <laughs> I understand. For their, but what does the YMCA have to do with a business loan? What does the YMCA have to do with a business loan? It is, fun. it is fun to go to the YMCA. It is fun to go to the YMCA. Yeah. Money, cash, advance. Oh, I thought it was good for Young Men's Christian Association. No, no. 
It's so fun to go to. Advance. It's fun to get a merchant to... cash advance. It's fun to get a merchant cash advance. That does have a nice ring to it. I kind of like that. So that, that's what we're doing, and that's what I had talked to Jim about. Right. Because you guys make baseball bats. Yeah, we, we're, we're cranking out baseball bats. I'll be the fool at Yahoo.com. Right. right, yeah. But I never heard back. You know, well, I, 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 think, I don't think I got the uh, email. But but anyway, so well, you'd rather have Bitcoin rather than... Send them on the third. So, Robert, you know, Robert not, you'd rather have Bitcoin rather than gold, correct? Yeah, but that has nothing to do with this. Well, this is, that's what the loan, Robert, the, the loan is for. Robert, the loan is for Bitcoin. You can get Bitcoin and you tell me that you're not interested in, in borrowing money for your business, then I'll stop calling and stop bothering you guys. You know, well, I but, mean, uh, it's, it's, it's not about, I just want the, I want to get the gold. I want to, I want to find enough money to buy Bitcoin so I can replace, so I can get all the gold and give them the Bitcoin. That's what we're about here. And I'll even, I'll even do it in, in a blue Honda. I'll even take silver Honda's blue Honda and go drive up there and, and, and get all the gold out. It might weigh it down a bit, but it, it might take several trips. But if you can get me the money to do that, we'll, we can, we can get cranking. And then more, I'll have to, I can just forget about the baseball bats. Well, Robert, have your well, machine call my machine. Well, let's do the lunch thing later. I got to go, but I appreciate it. And remember, Robert, keep your feet on the stars and keep reaching for the ground. Take care. Okay. All right. So a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching. I want to encourage you to please rate, comment, share, and subscribe.